And we have first motion, the shuttle carrier aircraft and space shuttle Endeavor beginning to thunder down shuttle landing facility runway 15, heading to the southeast, taking to the skies for one last time from Kennedy Space Center. Wheels up unofficially at 7.22 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time. Space Shuttle Endeavor soaring atop NASA's shuttle carrier aircraft, about to begin a 20-minute flyover of the Space Coast area. The aircraft will remain about 1,500 feet above the ground. Turn toward the coast, conduct a flyover of Kennedy Space Center, Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, and then head south down the beach. Where onlookers are gathered NASA television will cover this entire uh, flyover as best we can. The shuttle and the shuttle carrier aircraft will head to the south and out of range of our cameras, but then we'll come back toward Kennedy Space Center for one final pass over the shuttle landing facility in about 20 minutes. During this flyover, the shuttle carrier aircraft will continue south along the beach toward Patrick Air Force Station or Patrick Air Force Base and then turn inland and fly north over the Indian River heading back toward the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex and back to the shuttle landing facility before wagging its wings and turning north and then west and on toward Houston. Just after sunrise here in Florida, clouds in the sky, rain offshore, but not expected to impede this flyover of Space Shuttle Endeavor.
the shuttle carrier aircraft is making its way south above the beaches. Cape Canaveral, Cocoa Beach, and on down toward Patrick Air Force Base. And we're looking at a view from the beach as shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour about to fly overhead. Breaking through a low cloud layer, here comes shuttle carrier aircraft. It's accompanied by the Pathfinder and a NASA T-38 jet, a trio of aircraft making a flyover. A group of onlookers on the beach taking a look at Space Shuttle Endeavour passing by for one last time. But for residents of the Space Coast area, Space Shuttle Atlantis will remain and will be on display at the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. It will make its move from Kennedy Kennedy's Vehicle Assembly Building on November 2nd to the KSC Visitor Complex and uh, residents of the area will be able to visit Atlantis whenever they choose. Shuttle Carrier Aircraft Commander Jeff Moultrie at the controls, Bill Rickey, his pilot, Henry Taylor, Gary Ash, and Larry LaRose, the flight engineers, as Endeavour and the Shuttle Carrier Aircraft head northbound back toward the Kennedy Space Center. Residents of the Space Coast seeing quite a magnificent sight this morning. And while residents of the Space Coast have had an opportunity to see such ferry flights in the past, knowing that this is the final one makes it even uh, extra special. We're looking at, uh, at the shuttle carrier aircraft from a camera mounted on the vehicle assembly building here at Kennedy as it returns once again for a low pass over the shuttle landing facility.
and the pilots descending from 1,500 feet to 200 feet, approaching the runway. aircraft flying around the Kennedy Space Center, giving workers one final view. An added treat, courtesy of the shuttle carrier aircraft commander Jeff Moultrie and his team. Once again from the shuttle landing facility as the shuttle carrier aircraft and Endeavour make their approach. Descending toward runway 33 at NASA's Kennedy Space Center. Once again, a view from the top of the Vehicle Assembly Building. A view familiar as we've watched many a shuttle landing over the years. This time, not a landing, but a low flyover and a goodbye to Kennedy Space Center from the Shuttle Carrier Aircraft and Space Shuttle Endeavour.